All right, I'm just gonna come out and say it. I did not like Dunkirk. I know I'm in the minority in that, but I did not like the movie. Now let's talk about why. So Dunkirk is a new film directed by Christopher Nolan about the Battle of Dunkirk where the British and French forces during World War II were forced to retreat from the beach of Dunkirk because their forces were being too heavily defeated. I was really looking forward to this movie. Honestly, Christopher Nolan is one of my all-time favorite directors. I've never seen one of his movies that I didn't like until now. But despite that, I do have some positives to say about this movie. First of all, the sound team behind Dunkirk, bravo to you guys. Because whenever a gun would go off, or whenever an explosion would go off, it'd be so deafeningly loud that you feel like you were actually there. Because of those sounds, right from the beginning of the movie, I knew two things. One, we're in war, and two, it's scary. Also, Hans Zimmer's score built up the intensity, it was haunting, and just really great to listen to. It's one of the scores that you listen to and you know danger is just around the corner. Now, what's my biggest problem with this movie? The characters! I understand that the Battle of Dunkirk and World War II were horrific events and people were fighting for their families and fighting for their country. But when a movie doesn't address either one of those things, it's kind of a bummer. Besides Mark Rylance, I couldn't tell you anything about any of the characters in this movie. They were all indistinguishable, I couldn't tell you why they were in the war, and let me tell you, in a war film, it is awful when a character of great importance importance dies, and you just do not care. Heck, he could have been a character of great importance, but I know so little about these guys that I just don't know. And shouldn't a powerful war film not only show you the carnage of war, but also make you side with everybody who's on screen so that you feel for them and you want them to be safe? And that's the reason whenever I think compelling war film, I always come back to Hacksaw Ridge, because Mel Gibson was able to blend those two things so perfectly. For me, it feels as though Christopher Nolan was so focused on how the carnage of Dunkirk affected everybody that the characters got sweeped under the rug. And because there was no compelling characters on screen, it made me feel as though there was nothing compelling on screen as a whole, and the movie felt quite boring. Believe me, I wanted this film to be powerful. I wanted it to make me weep. A World War II drama film directed by Christopher Nolan sounds like a match made in heaven. But honestly, I left the theater feeling quite quite empty. Like I said, I know that I'm the minority on this. People are talking about how this is Christopher Nolan's masterpiece. Heck, it's got a 98% on Rotten Tomatoes. But I have to stick to my guns on this. So sadly, Dunkirk, stay in your shorts. But as always, it is what you guys say that matters. So have you already seen Dunkirk? And what did you think of it? More importantly, what is your favorite Christopher Nolan film? I know he certainly has an impressive library, that is for sure. Leave a comment down below telling me your thoughts. And if you like what you've seen here, and you want to see more, click right there and subscribe and become part of the fray of nerds who love cinema. You all have a fantastic day.